Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to edit the footer section in the Divi theme for WordPress. If you're looking to customize your website's footer, this tutorial will help you understand all the options available in Divi. Remember to check the link in the description to try elegant themes at a great price. Let's get started. This is a fresh installation of WordPress using the Divi theme. To begin editing the footer, go to the WordPress dashboard and select Appearance. From here, you'll see an option for the theme settings. Alternatively, you can go to the front end of your site and access the theme customizer directly. Either method will take you to the same settings page. Once you're in the theme settings, look for the footer section. Here, you'll find multiple customization options. The first thing we'll edit is the footer credits. By default, the footer credits may display text like Powered by WordPress. You can replace this with custom text. For example, you can add a copyright symbol, the name of your blog, or any other details you prefer. To further customize the footer credits, you can adjust the font size, text color, and style. For this example, I'll choose a white text color and apply the italic style. You can also make the text bold, underlined, or even capitalize it depending on your preferences. Once you've finalized your footer credits, click the Publish button to save your changes. Next, let's add social media icons to the footer. Within the same settings, you'll see the option to include social media links. Here, you can adjust the size of the icons and change their colors. It's a good idea to match the icon colors with the overall theme of your footer. Now, we'll move on to adding widgets. Before that, you need to choose a footer layout. Divi offers several layout options, such as one column, two column, three column, or four column designs. For this example, I'll select the three column layout. Once the layout is set, go to the widget section. In the first footer area, I'll add a latest posts widget. This will display recent posts from your blog in that section of the footer. You can choose any widget that suits your needs. Once added, you'll see the widget appear in the designated footer area. For the second footer area, I'll add a categories widget. This will display the categories from your blog, giving visitors an easy way to navigate your content. Again, you can select a different widget if you prefer. In the third footer area, I'll add an image. For this, I'll upload my blog's logo to give the footer a more branded look. After uploading, the logo will appear in the footer area. You can experiment with the available widgets and add anything that fits your website's design. Once all widgets have been added, click the Publish button to save your changes. You can also customize the footer's background color and adjust the size and style of the text within each widget. These options allow you to fine-tune the appearance of the footer to match your site's overall design. You can modify the widget text color, link color, and other elements directly from the settings menu. Now let's look at the footer elements. Here, you can enable or disable features like social icons. For example, if you don't want social icons to appear, simply toggle them off. Finally, there's the footer menu. If you have a footer menu set up, you can customize it here. Once you're happy with all your changes, click the Publish button one last time to save your settings. That's it. We've successfully edited the footer section in the Divi theme. Remember to check the link in the description to try elegant themes at a great price. Thank you for watching.